to read this. Can you believe he texted me this? In the middle of chem class. So are you gonna do it? No. Maybe. <laughs> well, what about you? You and Danny have any naughty plans for your winter celebration? He's probably just gonna take me to dinner or something. <laughs> yeah, is that what you're hoping for? So what are you doing heading home? Soon, I'm gonna go say goodbye to Miss Cohen first. Oh, teacher's back? <laughs> right, I'll see you after breakfast, okay? Bye. Bye. You are lucky. I know. Jamie! I was hoping I'd get to see you before I left. This is for you. Oh, you didn't have to. It's just a little something for the baby. Besides, you've helped me a lot this year. Jamie, you are gonna do great. Your marks are excellent, and if you just keep working as hard as you have, you can get into whichever college you choose. Even Wittendale? Even Wittendale. What about the new teacher? Oh, Ms. Matson, don't worry. I've heard she's great. I'm sure you'll really like her. school has always taken pride in our extracurricular activities. Music, drama, but the real feather in our cap is our baseball team. For eight seasons straight, we've won the state championships. Wow. <laughs> Still, doesn't mean these boys get any special treatment. They're all expected to maintain a passing grade. If not, they're cut from the team. Now, I'll be emailing you your class list by the end of the day. And if there's anything else? <sighs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, Jamie. Hi, honey. How was school? OK. How did Dad's job interview go? Can you do me a favor and make sure he gets some dinner? I gotta go to work. So I guess this means I'm not getting my cell phone back anytime soon. <sighs> Jamie, you know we'd like to be able to get you that. I know, we need to cut back on expenses. What's that? My application to Wittendale. <clears throat> Jamie, I need to tell you something. Your father and I well, we had to borrow from the college funds to pay for the house. And the taxes were six months overdue, and the bank was threatening to take the house. I don't believe this. Jamie, I'm so sorry, but I'm doing everything I can but taking the two jobs and your dad's out of work. Good, so what, I don't get to go to college now? No. No, no, no. I promise you, we'll make back the money. How, Mom? Where are you going? Over to Danny's. Could knock first. I don't need to knock in my own home. Besides, shouldn't you two be studying at your own house? 
I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Miss Campbell. Good night, Jamie. That's the third time she's been here this week. Yeah. Uh. Look, <clears throat> maybe you might want to think about starting to cool things off with her. You guys fire her dad, and now you want me to break it off with her? Your father had no choice. We had to downsize. <sighs> Danny, look at me. Your father and I have always expected that you would go to Stanford. But you are not going to get into any decent college if you spend all of your days playing baseball or looking after Jamie Hall. You're not. You need to get your grades up. And that needs to be your only focus. Okay. Yeah. No wonder your real mama didn't want you. That's a lie. No, it's not. Don't say that, mommy. No, I am not. You are a mom. <laughs> She's dead. No, we dead. got it. Who'd want a sad, ugly freak like you? Shut up! <clears throat> hey, how's it going? Oh. It looks like I won't be skipping class anymore. <laughs> <Not this. laughs> Just kidding. Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Matson. I'm filling in for Mrs. Cohen for the rest of the year. Now, it's not my intention to come in here and to undo her curriculum, but to pick up where she left off. So, I had a chance to look at some of your papers on the meaning and impact of your favorite literary quotes. I have to say I was intrigued by a few of them. Um, one being... Trent Davies, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? <laughs> hey, Romeo. Okay. <laughs> and Jamie Hall's love never claims it ever gives. Jamie, who? Oh. Gandhi, if I'm not mistaken. Now, it's not a literary quote, but it's lovely, all the same. How about... He whom love touches not walks in darkness. Plato Symposium and one of my personal favorites. Now, before you all start groaning about how you ended up with such a mean teacher, the following quiz is one that Mrs. Cohen prepared before she left. I, I'm just following her curriculum. Besides, you guys should know this. It's pretty easy. Take one, pass it down, please. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Danny, can I see you for a moment? Uh, yeah. I, I was speaking with the principal, and she mentioned that if you're going to stay on the team, you need to maintain a 3.0. How's that working out for you? <laughs> uh, not great. Mm hmm Well, um, the team needs their captain, and... I'm here to get you out of high school hell and to help you move on to where you really want to be. So, um, why don't you see me after school? I, I promise it won't take long. Um, yeah, all right. That test was ridiculous. Mm. Okay, which is a form of conflict? A, man versus man. B, man versus himself. 
C. Both of the above. A. Let me let me ask you a question. Um, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, yeah. All right. So uh, let's say you meet another girl, and she rocks your world. Mm. But you love your girlfriend. So what's going on inside with you? Conflict. <laughs> exactly. Man versus himself. Uh. <laughs> this this paper really has a lot more promise now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Honestly, you're the first teacher who's ever given me a second chance. Aww. You're pretty cool. Thank you, Danny. That really means a lot to me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks again. Well, sure. Hey, I'm free after school on Thursday if you need more help. Uh, midterms are coming up. Uh, actually, Jamie and I are our first year anniversary is Thursday. Oh. Okay, so you, you already have plans. Um, how about this? Why don't you, um, give me your, your cell number mm -hmm. and then I can help you with your paper. You know, find a topic. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Thanks again. Anytime. Back with refills of your tea. Thanks. Would you like something? Hello? Lauren, it's me. Hey, Phil. How bad is he? Really bad. All right, well, I can't do anything about it now, but I'll take care of it during my break. All right. Thanks. Jamie, is your father home? No, why? Well, Phil called and he was in the bar going off about Mr. Campbell and, and he tried to stop him, but he left in pretty rough shape. I, I'm just worried that he might be headed over there. Okay, I'll go get him. What are you doing here? You're home. Of course I'm home. I just want to talk. What do you want to say? I was there with you on the ground floor, Brad. 18 years I gave you. 18! And for what? For nothing. Do you even know anything about loyalty? Dad, come on. I think it's time you went home, Stephen. To what? To my house? The house that I'm going to lose because my 18 years of service with your company are not valuable? Gwen, go call the police. No, please. I'll, I'll get him home right now, okay? Dad, come on, please. Let's go. 18 years, and look at you. Who'd hire you now? Yes. 
you don't need to beat him down more than you already have. teacher who's ever given me a second chance. You're pretty cool. wondering. This is the first time I've gotten a C on anything, and I really need a good grade to get a scholarship to Wittendale. Wittendale? Well, that's impressive. My dad's been out of work for over a year, and anyways, uh, I don't want any kind of special treatment. I just, I want to know what I can do. Can I make it up somehow? Was there something I didn't understand about the assignment? Not at all. I mean, in fact, you nailed the assignment right on. See, that was the problem. There was nothing personal in the paper. You know, nothing showed me that Jamie Hall wrote it. Oh. Well, I didn't realize my teachers always expect a lot of references and footnotes. Well, I'm not any of your other teachers. <laughs> Listen, I'm also not a mean teacher. So here's what we can do. How about you pull together another paper by tomorrow, same topic, just inject more Jamie into it, and I'll mark it as your first. By tomorrow? Yes. Is that a problem? No, I just, I had some important plans. More important than college? I'll cancel them. That a girl. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Great best weekend, honestly. Let's go out and do it again, guys. Hey. hey. Hi. <laughs> you excited for tonight? Um, actually, I can't go out. What do you mean? We, we've been planning this for weeks. It's our anniversary. I know. I, I need to redo my paper. <sighs> it's just one C. But it counts for 10% of my final grade. I'm not lucky like you are. My parents don't have the money to send me to college. I need a scholarship. So this is my dad's fault again? No, that's not what I said. I gotta go. Sir. Happy anniversary. You guys lost tonight. Are you okay? I heard that Coach Braun can really dole out quite an earful. Yeah, yeah, especially with the team captain. Oh. Well, at least you have your anniversary to look forward to. I would, but Jamie bailed on me. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I just want to give her a chance to redo her paper. No, no, that's cool. 
Well, do you have any other plans? I was gonna go over to Trent's. Well, if you're interested, I've got a sure way to cheer you up. Oh, yeah? <laughs> What's that? Well, <laughs> hop in and, and I'll show you. I can't do this anymore. I cannot keep holding down the fort while you go around feeling sorry for yourself and, and drinking and racking up the credit card debt. What do you want me to do? Of engineering experience, and I'm not just going to throw that away. You know what, maybe the problem is go out there and put your confidence to your ego I have confidence. and go paint a house. I have confidence. I've been out there every day looking for a job. Oh, every day. I'm looking sick and tired of hearing it. You're on that computer every day. You're too qualified. I'm sick of hearing it. So what is this place? It's exactly what you think it is. A hole in the wall in Chinatown. <laughs> Ooh. Is it important? No. It's nothing. Okay. So, I found that the best cure for anything is beer. And a little MSG. <laughs> you sure that's okay? It's just one beer. I won't tell anybody if you won't. <laughs> so, um, what were your plans tonight with Jamie? Are you guys gonna have dinner and then a little sex in the back seat? <laughs> hmm. What? I know what it's like to be a teenager. Can't exactly do it when you're still living at home. Yeah, right. Uh, maybe for those that are actually doing it. Aww. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Heather, it's Jamie. Do you know where Danny is? Uh, yeah, he was supposed to come over to Trent after the game. Hey, did Danny ever show up? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. I guess he didn't show up. That's weird. Look, well, uh, if he shows up, can you tell him to call me? Yeah, sure, I'll tell him. Okay, thanks. Okay, Danny. Here, if you ever need any extra tutoring, here's my address. Whoa. <laughs> my door is always open. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, uh, I must have forgot my phone. I'll be right back, okay? So I called you last night. Who are you? I just went over to Trends after the game. Hey, Danny. What's up, man? Hey. Hey. hey, you guys going to the Big Bash tonight? Uh, I don't know. Where is it? It's at Gills. His parents are going to Tahoe for the weekend. Nice. Yeah, I miss. What about you, Jamie? Yeah. She's probably got to study or something, right? No. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a party. <laughs> All right, babe. We'll see you. Danny. Hey. 
great. Hey guys, thanks. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about our anniversary. And I want to make it up to you. <laughs> Come here. Do you know where Danny is? No, why? You guys doing okay? I don't know. Well look, I've come to find that when you're having boy troubles, the best way to get over them is by having a little fun. Bottoms up, Dick. It's your battery terminal. My what? This is your negative battery terminal. Uh -huh. It's usually connected here. Oh. Oh no, look how dirty your hands are. Oh. oh. It's no big deal. Oh, come inside and I'll clean them off for you. I mean, the movie I, I was gonna see already started anyway, so it's the least I could do. Come on. Do you have a lot of car problems? Well, my car is 10 years old. What do you think? <laughs> uh, if you need a good mechanic, I know one. Gino and Tony's auto body. Mm -hmm. They only take cash, but they do a good job. <laughs> are they are they like a, a chop shop? Something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. I don't know if this is doing that great of a job. Well, what do you think? <sighs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. No, no, it's okay. You're 18, you can do whatever you want with whomever you want.
kayak nanti. <laughs> Where have you been? God, Jamie, what, what are you doing here? It's one o'clock in the morning. And what are you just doing getting home? Uh, have you been drinking? Don't turn this around on me. I know you were with someone tonight. I was. Who is it. she? I wasn't with anyone. Liar! Were you with her the night you were supposed to be at Trent's? Tell me, Danny. Tell me who she is. Hey, hey, what is going on here? Are you drunk? Why won't you talk to me? Okay, Danny, go in the house and call her a cab, please. Go. Do you have any idea how irris... Jamie, where are you going? Jamie Hall, do not get into your car. Jamie! You're not going with her. You're not going hey. with her. Jamie, come on. Don't, don't, what are you doing? Jamie, don't drive off. What? Okay, all right, great. Thanks, Gwen. Jamie? Where have you been? I've been worried sick. I was at a party. Well, I just got off the phone with Danny's mother. She said you've been drinking. I had like one drink. One? Jamie, you're 18. You're not supposed to be drinking at all. A and you're driving? What's wrong with you? God, Mom, can you just leave me alone like you normally do? Today we're going to start reviewing in preparation for your midterm exam. Mike, stop talking. All right, we've got a lot to cover, guys. Let's get started. I can't believe she gave me a C. I did exactly what she wanted. I, I rewrote the entire paper. It's like she has something against me. Well, maybe you should try talking to her again. Look, there he is. Can you talk to him? No. Have you even seen him since the party? I tried calling him all weekend, but he wouldn't answer. Are you sure he's fooling around and he's not just brushing you off? Heather, he's been lying to me. Why else would he unless he has something to hide? I don't know. I'm going to go get a frappuccino on the way home. Are you coming? Maybe later. All right. I don't believe it. Coach Braun has actually threatened to kick me off the team. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm sure he's just blowing off steam, so you'll do what you have to to get your grades up. With my help, it's already happening. Do you think it's enough? This is definitely enough. Add your midterm grade to that, which I'm sure you'll pass with flying colors, and you're golden. If you're going to stay on the team, you have to maintain a 3.0. Why don't you see me after school? Good job. If I don't get into Stanford, my parents are going to be so disappointed. Do you want to go? Of course, yeah. I mean, it's a great school. <laughs> I don't know if I can hack it. My my dad's always been so successful at whatever he does. I guess he just assumes I'll be the same. Well, sometimes mothers and fathers can drive us to do things we feel we have to do. Are your parents like that? I never knew my parents. I. I had a foster mother. She was something. She was the only mother I ever knew. It's too bad.
bad she. It's too bad she died when she did. In such a horrible way. To die by her own hand. What have you done? And she she killed herself. Insulin overdose. She was diabetic, and they concluded that she made a mistake. A terrible, terrible mistake. Who are you texting with? Ah, uh, just Trent. What? Nothing. I guess I'm just I'm just stressed with school and everything. Miss Matson. For some reason, she keeps being extra hard on me. What do you mean? She keeps giving me lousy grades when I know the work is good. I mean, why would she do that? How should I know? Look, I gotta go. Wait, Danny. Can we talk? Uh, sorry, I've got some stuff I gotta do. Like what? Just running some errands for a while. I'll talk to you later. Feeling Jamie on purpose? What is she telling you? Nothing. Nothing. I was just asking. Silly. Me. She's just being paranoid. What the hell? I gotta go. Jamie, please wait. Hey, Jamie, Jamie. 
please. How could you? Well, it's not what you think. Are you serious? I know what I saw, Danny. <laughs> You're making too big a deal out of it. You're having sex with our teacher. Jake, listen. You know how much of a hard ass my dad is. If he found out about this, he'd kill me. He could just cut me off. Miss Matson's flunking me out of senior lit while you two are messing around, and I'm supposed to protect you. I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it did. No, please. I will take care of this. I promise. Please don't say anything. Jamie? Is everything okay? Danny? Yeah. Yeah, Mrs. Hall, everything's fine. Jamie? What's going on with you and Danny? Didn't you hear him? Everything's fine. Didn't seem that way to me. Look, I'm sorry I got caught up with everything going on, but I'm here. Everything's fine, Mom. at the paper you did for me, and although I don't do this very often, I have to admit, I believe I made a mistake. If you think this is how you're gonna get away with what you're doing, you're wrong. What? the stakeout go? Did you catch him doing anything or what? No. No, I, I didn't. See? I told you. Danny's not the type of guy that would fool around. I gotta go. I didn't want to say anything, but Jamie's behavior has been a little disrespectful lately. How so? Well, she became very belligerent the other day when I gave her a poor grade on one of her papers. She sort of stormed off in a huff. Do you want me to talk to her? No, no, no. I, I've got her under control. I just thought I'd share that with you. She's going through a lot of family problems at home. And I just want to be really supportive and, and encouraging, you know? She's one of our best students. She certainly is. Well, you let me know if you need anything? I will. You're doing a wonderful job, Molly. Keep it up. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins. Jamie. How's it going? Miss Madsen gave me an A. Obviously, she was failing me on purpose. I'm sorry. I really am. Thank you for not saying anything. And I'm gonna end it tonight. Do you mean it? 
I swear. My parents will be out later. And you can come over to the house and we'll talk. freak like you. Huh? Ugly. Ugly. Freak. Freak! Alright, I'll be home later. Wait just a second. Where are you going? To meet Jamie. You have midterms in a few weeks. You need to be studying. I just have something I gotta take care of, alright? I'll be home soon. What do you need to take care of? Nothing. Danny, are you and Jamie breaking up? Dark, secluded. What do you have in mind? Back seat. Okay. What's wrong? I. I just don't like the way that you've been treating Jamie. I gave her an A. What is she still bitching about it? No, she's not. Bi it's not about that, Molly. It's about this. I can't. I can't do this wait, anymore. Wait, wait. She's been talking to you, hasn't she? She's. Trying to scare you. There's nothing to worry about. She's not gonna tell anybody. She doesn't have any proof. And besides, we'll just deny it. <sighs> That's enough. I gotta go. Where are you going? <sighs> to see Jamie. Why? Because she's alone, Molly. What, what's she gonna do for you? We both know she's not gonna give herself to you. That's enough. I know that you want me. No, I don't. I, stop, I, stop it. No, I don't want you anymore. Yes, you do. Stop, God. You're such a freak. <gasps> no! <gasps>
Danny? Dad! Hey, Sunshine. What are you doing out here? Nothing. I, I just, I thought I heard something. Oh. Just me? You okay? Yeah. Hmm. I scared you. You did scare me. You have reached your destination. Hi, hi. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, can you, can you fix this? How'd that happen? You didn't get on the way to the mall by some new shoes. Does it matter how it happened? Easy. I'm not your husband, lady. Okay, uh, is there somebody else I can talk to? Somebody more qualified? Hey, as qualified as they get. Carla, go pump some air and some tires or something. What can I do you for? How fast can you fix this? There's blood here. What? What happened? No, 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 no. I, that, I, no, I, I hit a deer. How fast can you fix it? Uh, express service will cost you extra. I'll give you what you want as long as you can guarantee discretion. I don't need a receipt. Discretion will cost you a little extra, too. How much? Teenager, 18 years old, who didn't come home last night. Wow, that's a new one. Yeah, his name is Danny Campbell. Father's name is Brad Campbell. Now, apparently, he's a big mucky muck friend of the mayor's. They have just called, and they want us to meet this right away. Right, because boy with the silver spoon's got to get back by dinner. So yeah. did they order Trace on the cell? 20 minutes ago. All right, let's go. All right, I'll drive. Hey, it's Danny. Leave me a message and I'll hit you back. How long before you get rid of the old one? Salvage truck comes by on Monday. And then? What? Then it gets shipped off to a yard in Fontana. And then it disappears forever. Oh. It should. For $2,000. Don't worry. Your little secret is safe with me. So is yours. Text sent at 7.21 p.m. to an unidentified number. Fantastic. Says here to meet me at Bellevue Park. Lover's Lane. Yeah. Right. 
It's Peters. We need a team to meet us at Bellevue Park. Got it. Let's go. All right. Thank you, sir. Someone didn't make much of an effort to hide him or his wheels. No, it looks like they're in a bit of a hurry to get out of here, huh? What's Forensic saying? Not a hell of a whole lot, actually. But whoever did this is one sick son of a bitch. I mean, look at this poor kid. Want me to call the family? No. No, I'll do it. Oh, my God. Yes, we'll be right there. I'm done with my homework. What's wrong? Honey, sit down. That was Detective Allen from the police department. They're at Danny's house. Danny's house? Why? Well, they don't have all the details yet, but they need us to come down to the station. Mom, just tell me what happened. Honey, Danny's dead. They found his body in Bellevue Park. What did you do to him? Excuse me? Danny said he was gonna go see you last night. We just were you drunk? Is that it? We just so angry with him that he was gonna end it with you that you ran over him with your car. Is that what you did? Is that the way you raise your daughter? Why am I not saying that? Calm down. Okay, calm down. Listen, um, Detective Allen, Detective Peters. We talked on the phone earlier. If you uh, wouldn't mind just following me over here, and yeah. Have a if chat. you wouldn't mind just having a seat right here, I'll have somebody get you some water. Just right here on the, just for a few minutes, okay? <laughs> Jamie, when was the last time you saw Danny Campbell? At school. Uh, around three. Did you talk to him? Yeah. And what did he say? He said he was gonna come by. And he never showed up. And that's it. He also said that he was going to take care of something. What was that? It's OK, honey. Go ahead. He said he was going to break up with his girlfriend. Jamie, I thought you were his girlfriend. He was seeing someone else. Any idea who? Our teacher, Miss Matson. What? Jamie, do you have any proof of that? He told me. And I saw them together. Okay, where? At her house. Mr. and Mrs. Hall, you, you knew nothing about this? No. No. Hey, Jamie, so you never mentioned any of this to your family? To your parents or to any high school officials? No. Why not? He didn't want me to. Thing to say. I, I just, I, I can't believe it. So, Miss Manson, there was nothing inappropriate about your relationship with Danny Campbell then? Oh, absolutely not. I would never do anything to hurt any of my kids. Oh, there's a thought of that is, is just so vile. So why do you think Jamie Hall made this accusation? I don't know. She's one of my best students. 
Although I, I will say that uh, she has had a change in behavior the past couple of weeks. Such as? She's become increasingly belligerent. We had an episode a few days ago. Go uh, on. She got a bad grade on a paper and she almost threatened me, sort of. She said, you will never get away with this. And did you discuss this with anybody? Yes, I did, uh, Principal Jenkins. And we decided not to do anything about it. We thought, you know, it's due to stress, you know, family problems, you know, her father's out of work, Danny. Hmm. Ms. Madsen, if you'd be so kind as to tell us about her problems with Danny. Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I obviously don't pay attention to the teenage dramas that swirl around high school. Um, but I, I did overhear that Jamie was accusing Danny of um, seeing someone else. I, I, who knew it was me? <laughs> oh, I um, almost forgot. Miss Madsen, where were you Friday night between the hours of 7.30 and 10 p.m.? Friday, I was at the movies. Oh, yeah? What did you see? I saw Blackberry Winter, actually, <laughs> down at the, at the Broadway Palace downtown. You know, I, just, I love those old theaters. Uh, you wouldn't happen to still have that ticket stub, would you? I don't know. I think I might, actually. <sighs> yep, Blackberry Winter. It says here, and uh, the time is there. Yeah, 8 p.m. So it does. <sighs> okay, well, she was acting a little weird. I mean, Danny was blowing her off, but she was taking it like he was cheating on her or something. Was he? No. Not that I know of. She even followed him home one day. And I told her that was crazy, and I was right. She said she didn't catch him doing anything. So she admitted to you that she never saw him with anyone else? Yeah. What was her general disposition that day at school? The day Danny died? I'd say she was sort of pissed off. I'm just saying, I'm not buying the fact that he was sleeping with his teacher. Well, it's Jamie's word against Molly's. But we do know that Jamie was angry at Molly for giving her the bad grade. Okay, what do we have here? Right? The key to this whole case is this prepaid cell phone, right? right? If we can find out who Danny sent that text to, we got our killer. Well, I say we start with Jamie. She's the only one with a clear motive. And the only one who can't prove to us her whereabouts between the hours of 8 and 10 p.m. on the night of the murder, right? Right. Think we got enough? Yeah. Just enough. Yeah. Calling it in? Yep. Ryan. Gonna need a warrant? Location. The Hall residence. Again. We have a search warrant. What? Yeah. No, you can't just come in that. here and start searching my place. No, Jamie didn't do anything. She's been really cooperative. She told you everything that she knows. Mom, what's going on? The detectives brought a search warrant. Why? That's exactly what I want to know. All right, folks, please. Let's just calm down, okay? This is just part of an investigation. Now, if you're telling us the truth, we'll be out of here in no time. And you could really help us out if you gave us your cell phone. I don't have one. Yeah, that's right. We took it away a couple months ago. Uh-huh. I think I'll check the car. Good Excuse idea. Me. I'll check the lid. Jamie, are you telling us everything you know? I don't know what's going on. You know what? I'm gonna call our lawyer. Hey, check this out. Yeah, what you got? This. Right here. Ken? Ken? Yeah? There's something you should see. What do you got? Check out the front bumper. This is your car, isn't it, Jamie? Yes. It looks like you got some dried blood on your bumper. I don't know how that got there. Jamie, what happened? What, what is that? Did you hit something, honey? No. Ken, yeah. I've never seen that before. What was that? Jamie, did you buy a phone? No, I didn't. That's not mine. Is that what we need? Bag it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you doing? Hold on, detective. Mom? 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 Mom
You have a right to an attorney. Okay. Not a four on one. We'll meet you there. Why did you a public suspense? Get some sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. I know. What was that about the school teacher? There he is. There he is. How is she? She's fine. They're going to hold her overnight until the bail hearing tomorrow. Will she be safe? They'll put her in a private cell. She won't have to mix with the general population. I made sure of that. Can, can we get her out tomorrow? Well, the DA has a compelling case. The blood they found on Jamie's bumper was positively identified as Danny's. Oh, my God. Couldn't have someone planted it there, and the phone. Yes, and these are the arguments that I'll be making tomorrow, along with the fact that she's an honor student. She's got no priors. I think there's a good chance the judge will grant our request. Don, how much will all this cost? For manslaughter, the statute is a hundred thousand, and so you'll need fifty grand to make bail. Okay. Thanks, Carl. I'm sorry to call you so late. But you know what we're up against. All right, so I'll see you in the morning. Take care. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye. What happened? Thank God for my brother. Between him and my parents and whatever we can borrow off our credit cards, I think we can come up with a 50K. since learned was her boyfriend, Danny Campbell. And while police are saying very little about the charges, we have learned that a bail hearing has now been set for 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll, of course, be here and have a live report for you. For now, though, from Wilford High School, I'm Rick Chambers. Let's go back to the studio. dog on a chain. Yeah, well, according to Don, we're lucky the judge let you out at all. So, I think that's a small price to pay. So I, I can't leave the house? At all? Not until the trial. But that could be months. Your mom and I are doing everything we can to get you out of this. Did they question Miss Matson? Apparently so. And? She's got an alibi. Well, she's lying! Danny told me he was going to go see her that night. She's the one who killed him. No, honey, we believe you. It's just the police have nothing to connect her to the crime. Did they check her car? I don't know. Well, there has to be some sort of evidence in it. And if the police won't look, then maybe we should look ourselves. Yes. May I help you? I'm Lauren Hall. Jamie's mother. Oh! Are you here to, uh, to pick up her homework? Something like that. How is she? Not good. She spent the night in jail. Oh. I heard about that. I'm so sorry. Miss Madsen. Mm -hmm. Someone's trying to frame my daughter for murder. Really? Who would do such a thing? I don't know. Maybe you. 
Uh, Mrs. Hall? I really resent that. The police have investigated this, and I have been completely exonerated. She saw you with Danny. You're her mother. Of course you're gonna believe her. I can assure you she's making that up. You know, I never held Jamie's accusations against her. Even after Danny told me the trouble that they were having. You know why? Because I know about love, young love, and that makes people say and do crazy things. So Danny confided in you? No. He was looking for someone to talk to. Oh, and lucky for him, you were there. Or was it luck? Mrs. Hall, I, I have a faculty meeting right now. So uh, I'll have her homework ready for you to pick up tomorrow. See you then. Sure. Hey, um, are you Gino? Yeah. I was wondering if you could help me. Um, was there a car that was brought in sometime this week? It was like a silver Jeep, um, license plate, uh, 4D0Q678. Sorry, don't ring a bell. Are you sure? A woman, dark hair, attractive. She may have brought it in with some damage to the front end. I told you I don't remember. Look, my daughter might go to jail for a hit and run that she didn't commit unless I prove that she didn't do it. And I am sure that you have the evidence here that would just... Look, I don't need any cops snooping around my place. You got it? So like I said, I don't remember. You do? Yeah. Skinny bitch with hot pink lips. Came in here with a broken grill. Uh, do you still have it? Not anymore. It went to scrap three days ago. So is it true? This chick really is someone? A young man. My daughter's being blamed for it. Are you sure you can't help me? You think you could talk to the police and tell them what you know? If I talk, I'm out of a job. I got kids too. Owner Gino, he didn't want to talk about it, but his mechanic, she was telling me everything. She confirmed that Molly dropped her car off Saturday morning. The grill in her car? That's the only evidence we would have, but I guess that was hauled off, what, three days ago. Other than getting her to confess, there's nothing we can do. Hmm. Then let's do it. Do what? Let's get her to confess. 
I mean, if I confront her, maybe you oh, should... No, 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 I don't want you anywhere near that woman. And besides, you can't leave the house with that thing on your ankle. Police will track you down in 10 minutes. about your good friend Gino. You know, the one who runs the chop shop. What? We have the grill. You know, the one you replaced the day after you killed Danny? Oh, I, I don't know. They didn't haul it off like they told you. They kept it. That's not true. Gino gave it to my mom. She's on her way to the police right now. I'm sure there's plenty of evidence on it. No, there's not. I didn't do anything. Why? Did you wipe it off? The same way you wiped the blood on my bumper? Uh, okay, I, I'm, I'm not gonna listen to this. You, you need to right. go. You put that blood on my car and stashed the phone in the glove compartment. No, I didn't. You're crazy. Get out of my house. Why did you kill him, Molly? Huh? What? Was he gonna tell on you? Was he gonna get you fired from your job? If you have the grill, why are you telling me this? You're trying to get me to say something. What are you trying to, to trying to trick me or something? What is this? <gasps> you were. Ah! You trying to record my confession? Get out of my house! He didn't want you. He used you like a whore. He used you to get what he thought he needed. Mm -hmm. But he told me what he really thought of you. He said you were a crazy old lady that you disgusted him. And how long did you think he was really gonna be with you? Look at you. You're pathetic. That's not true. Danny, you want to admit? You think because you're so pretty and so popular that you're better than I am? You, you think who would want to be with poor, ugly Molly? He wanted to be with me. But because you interfered, he's not with me anymore. You stupid, stupid little... Oh, oh you cut my face. Oh, look who's pathetic now. Don't like that, do you? You know what? I can't believe that Danny made such a stupid mistake for this. Danny got what he deserved. And now? You... <gasps> oh, God. Detective, I'm so glad. She, she, she broke into no, my house. Stop. She... Listen, she's telling the truth and I heard everything you said about Danny. No, this is her fault. She caught Miss me. Miss Madison, she... calm. I need you to calm down. Please, calm down. Okay? Okay? Are you all right? 
To do with a gun? Want to bet? Well, apparently this wasn't the first time. She admitted to being involved in the student affair back east, but the district covered it up. And she was able to move to L.A. and just get a job like nothing ever happened? She had the credentials. That's all she needed. What kind of sentence will she get? Manslaughter and attacking a police officer, I'd say 20, 25 easy. Detective, I wanted to ask you something. Sure. Why did it take you so long to get here? My dad said it would only take 10 minutes. I was kind of counting on that. You know what, Jamie? Next time you want to... Jump bail, I suggest it. Before rush hour, it'll be good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey. Is Dad home yet? Nope, but he promised he'd be home from work in time for dinner. Oh, by the way, you got some mail today. So, we are happy to offer you admission to Wittendale University and are delighted to have you as our new student. Oh, honey, I am so proud of you. <laughs> the day after Molly Metzen was sentenced to prison for manslaughter, we asked a variety of students how they might react if confronted with a teacher temptress. Here's what John Ludlow from Lytton High School had to say. Take a look. Well, if she looks anything like that Miss Madsen, hell yeah, I'd let her have her way with me. I mean, look at her, she's hot. If that was my teacher, I'd never skip class. Oh, that's sweet. John.